Hey everybody, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Last episode we got here to the Underdark where we go and explore the Mushroom Kingdom land area. We found some evil Duergar, the Dark Dwarves or Deep or Grey Dwarves. We killed them and uh, we turned one of them, Gekul, into my spore servant here with Glut. Sovereign Glut over here wants to betray his mushroom friends back uh, in Sovereign Spa's little Mushroom Kingdom. And I said, yeah, let's do it in return for some reward. But you know what? Before we destroy uh, a happy little village that helped me out, uh, let's go and explore the rest of the Underdark. There's still some area here. And uh, get, I don't know, maybe a masterwork weapon, get an arcane tower, you know, all the good stuff. And uh, yeah, and then we'll see where to go from there. Let's do this. Uh, okay, I climbed up all the way up here across the beach. There's a lot of little holes here, which makes me my character suspicious, apparently. The wall is riddled with holes. A Suffocating stench of long rotten meat wafts out. Hmm. <laughs> Survival. Inspect the holes. Let's try and do this. Oh, I don't have anything. Okay. Never mind. Let's not do that. My bad. My bad. Continue. The tunnels were created deliberately, but whether by tools or claws, you cannot say. Oh gosh, it's gonna be some horrible monster. Let's not reach out into one of the holes. Hold on. Let's have Karlak do this. Natural one, of course. Good one. Critical failure. Out of heart. You, you look at the hole now. The wall is riddled with holes. Survival. Reach. Suffocating stench of long rotten meat. There we go. Finally. Oof. Finally. You recognize the odor. The foul scent of carrion crawlers. Carrion crawlers. Aberrations that feast on the dead. Ah. At one time, these caverns must have been their banquet hall. The creatures are either long gone or waiting patiently in the darkness. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, let's not reach into that. It's like a bad idea. Okay. Well, let's ignore that and continue adventuring then. Ignore these weird wall holes. Alright, it's a good old dead drow here. Oh, bone snapped like a twig. Must have been a fall. Interesting. He fell from the waterfall? Okay, whatever. Let's talk to him. Dead drow. How you doing? It's uh, your good friend Grayscales. Did you have any allies nearby? Okay, good to see you. Good to know. That way. Okay. Uh, what happened to you? Through backpack. Too light. Fell. Oh, uh, I see. How did throwing a backpack make you fall? Mushrooms. Disappear. Guessed wrong. Mm. Mushrooms disappear. <laughs> That's weird. Who are you? House Fandry. Far scout. Searching. Uh, okay. What were you searching for? Quick path. To surface. Okay. The spell's power okay. wanes. You can ask no more questions. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. There seems to be some sort of, uh, some sort of magical Protoss cannon there. Uh, making me very scared. Although it only does have 22 hit points, so maybe Carla can take it out. But it is sturdy, so that makes me a little bit less excited. Let's see. Go jump like this. Uh, nice. I am on the other side now. Oh, there's so many towers there. Maybe this is what the Susser Bloom is for, because I was wondering, like, bro, like, what are these Susser Blooms for? They seem to. Oh. Okay. Huh. Never mind. Just instantly screws me over. Can I go closer to you? Yes, yes, the Susser anti magic field does take it out. Good, good, good. So now I just drop what I got. Where is the Susser? Here, uh, here it is. And split. Uh, okay, here it is. Split. And drop. Like that. Nice. Exit, turn base mode. Now you're donezo. Cool. All right, good. Took out one of them. So this is the Arcane Tower. Apparently it's a fancy place with the uh, magic turrets. Hm. Jump. Wee. Yes, there we go. Gotcha. 80 XP. Nice. Now I just drop another one of them down. There we go. There, finally, has some usefulness. These damn flowers. 
letter to Yuri. Sure, let's read that. Dearest Yuri, I don't know if you're coming back, but if you'll ever read this message, uh, but if you do come back, you wait for me. I'll only be gone a few ten days, but the thought of coming back to this empty tower was uh, with nothing but Bernard to fill these halls. I don't know how much longer I can take this. I miss you. I miss you so much. I can't shake the thoughts of how different things uh, might have been if only I'd been less stubborn. Working on your lightning inventions, my magic, eating together, laughing at your stupid puns, waking up next to you. Despite everything, I still love you. So please, if you read this, can you wait? I'll be back. I won't be long. Forever yours, Lenora. Uh, a few sentences are penned below in a different hand. I waited, I waited until uh, Tarshak. I'll always wait for you, but you didn't come. Ah, that's sad. Magical lights. Okay, there's, oh geez, there's another Protoss cannon there. Oh no, Asterion, get away. Yeah, okay, okay, let's try it this way. Go here. Then run as fast as possible. Okay, okay, two damage, not bad, not bad. Like a vandal. Okay, okay, that's fine. The other thing can't shoot me yet. Let's drop this. So I need to go this way. There we go. Can't shoot me there. Good, good, good. Snake, snake. Now I go all the way back here. Shadows don't suit me. And uh, yeah, I have to jump all the way there. Then try and get it down. <laughs> ah, jeez. Okay, man. I'm not sure how to. I'm not sure how to deal with these guys. I'm literally not sure. Uh, okay, drop item. There you go. All right, I guess we cleared it out. Cleared out the rest of the tower, and uh, yeah, pretty cool place. But we can apparently descend or ascend. Mm, let's try ascending. Like Can't some kind use of that. Contraption. Now to get it to work. Get it to work. Descend. Can't use that right now. Magical contraption, huh? Okay, I realized it. Actually, you just jump on these damn mushrooms. All right. I was like, huh, these are some big mushrooms all over this place. I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, we can jump. I forgot, completely forgot that we can jump here. Okay, now jump down. But there's a uh, hold on, jump here. Now jump down. Not really, I'm gonna lose HP. Oh, okay, that's not what I want. There we go. Jump like that. There we go. Good. Who needs an elevator when you have mushrooms, right? Uh, Threadbare looks like it once contained a play, but most of it has lost a time. How can I trust? How will I ever know? How can I show myself to my darkest me? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I think I need that, actually. The Timespores. Yeah? Yeah. Essence of Timespores. I uh, need that. Yeah. Yes. Omelium. Investigate the parasite. Good, good, good. Tongues of Madness as well. Oh, yeah. We need that. Thank you, whoever the gardener is. I'm stealing everything from your little mushroom land. <laughs> okay. Okay. Seems to be a nice good old laboratory over here. Very fun times. Yes, yes. Let's keep going. Uh, doesn't seem to be any arcane towers. They gave me some more susser flower plants, so I was scared that it's going to be more, you know, arcane turrets. Power generator. Okay, interesting. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I, there was this book over here. Hold on, where is it? Treaties on the anti-magic properties of sister flowers. And this guy says that you will endeavor to explain how I cr myself created items that will have anti-magic properties and use that magical absorption of sister tree flowers as a power source. So um, lines have been drawn on the following pages as if the author intended to fill them with writing, but the remainder of the within book is blank. So okay, maybe I just put them in. Maybe I put the sister flower in the power generator. It's kind of weird that I can power an arcane conduit with the, uh, you know, <laughs> with anti-magic thing. But okay, split and let's let's put them in. See what happens. Mine. Oh, I do it. Nice. I did. Blue flames. Very fancy. Mm-hmm. The elevator works. The arcane Oh, the arcane turrets turn off, interesting. So I guess I can collect all my sister blooms. Hmm. Oh, okay, it just turns on by itself. It's very nice. Beautiful. steampunk tower now has life to it oh yeah 
Ah, I can hear it chugging along as well. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Everyone in. Ascend, baby. Uh, this is a teleporter now. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Looks like she's ascending. I no longer need my sister blooms over there. Alright, time to go up one more time. Ascend. Elevator powers. There we go. It's been on my way. Some scary noises here. Oh, they have such a beautiful view, actually, of everything. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's actually really nice. Thunderdark is so beautiful. Thanks, Larian, for taking your time to make all these details, even though most people probably won't see this. It's really nice. Look at this. There's a button here. Let's see what it does. Button power. Now Press. That's a low button. Mm. Yeah. I think the owner may have been maybe a gnome or halfling. Oh. The engraved disc of Githyanki origin containing a complex cipher that can decrypt ancient Gith dialects. A useful discovery if one should encounter such archaic writings. Hold on. Read it. Circular symbols are etched on the disc. Yep. Use the cipher you found to decode the symbols. A pattern forms as you gaze at the disc. And from within that pattern, a story emerges. The Prince of the Comet, Part 1. Oh. So it was that we were free from gate shackles and turned our blades on each other. A good, war, a good old civil war. The heavens were shattered and one great empire was divided in two. Gith mm -hmm. traveled to the hells to broker help for her people, her cause. Flacketh would have you believe Mother Gith proclaimed her our queen. Lies. Gith made no such proclamation. Flacketh seized the empire against the mother's wishes. But Gith had nurtured a son, oh. Orpheus, Prince of the Comet, the true heir. He knew Vlacketh's treachery. Oh, Vlacketh. Orpheus rallied Gith's honor guard and declared the throne for himself. The War of the Comet had begun. Oh, okay. It's an intriguing tale, and a forbidden one, given how expertly it was encoded. Lazel will surely want to know of this. Mm, okay, yeah, maybe I will give it to Lazel then. Although I don't really use her, but yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Orpheus, Prince of the Comet, Part 1, Betrayal. <laughs> didn't we? I think we talked to Vlacketh, didn't we? He was that guy with the dragon. Yeah. Okay, interesting. We ascend again? Yes, ascend. Okay, hold on. Let me make character. Ascend. Oh, no. That's not good. You uh, know these words. They are from the opening stanza of a play you found in this very tower. Oh. Ruh -ruh. Or art thou a friend a rescue from my lonely wake? Oh. Okay, cool. I got a robot friend. Um what is this place? Oh, he only takes command for. Okay, how can I trust? How will I ever know? How can I show myself my darkest me? Give what you wish to see. Oh, oh, they gave me something. They gave me a light ring. Oh, hmm. Okay, interesting. Maybe I should have chosen something else. Whoops. <laughs> well, okay, cool. Guiding light. You get a light evocation cantrip. Button. Oh. Button revealed. Oh, interesting. There's this stool of hill giant strength. I sit on it. I like... Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe the anti-magic field is working Megan, against me. Yeah, it gives me hill giant's might. <laughs> no time to rest. It's a funny stool. Hold on, what if I... I attack it? Why don't I do this? this could do some oh! I turned the... Not. I turned it into a club. I was expecting a scroll. A club of giant strength. Splinters of giant... Mind. Uses strength 19. Eh, wow, that's definitely not bad. The Arcane Tower Basement. Oh, more Timask spores. Uh, a bouncy table there. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, Staff of Arcane Blessing. That's interesting. It just gives me the Bless spell. Not bad. Oh, okay, this is the secret part that I couldn't access before. Oh, okay. Well, 
Maybe that's it then. I think I got everything I needed from this arcane tower. What a wonderful place. Good old Bernard over there. All right, I jumped my way through some mushrooms. I found a mushroom circle that can teleport me up. That's good, a little checkpoint, and I found another mushroom circle, and everything's all blurry, of course. Okay, hold on, hold on. This is the place, right? The tea house or whatever? Okay, mushroom circle, up we go. Power of mushroom circles. The overgrown tunnel. Where are we? Oh, wow, we're actually somewhere far away. Let's not with me here. Because I guess we're no longer in the Underdark. I, I slap you? Medium toughness? Mock looking impossible. Hmm. This is a gnarled door. Ba -bum -bum. Well, this is the one... Hmm. Goes into... The hag place. Alright. Like, Valkyrie again? Eliminate spore. Sure. Wait, but then... Oh, there he is. Okay. He just comes back. He just pops out. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Sure. Let's, uh... Well, since we're here, we might as well just talk to Dareth to see how he, she likes her husband. Everything's good. Got my useless old man back. You're welcome. I suppose that's your doing. Mm-hmm. Yep. His hands are empty as a whole. We'll have to send him back out soon enough. <laughs> Seems like there's no lo love lost between two of you. <laughs> love? <laughs> Never heard of it. Balin's meek now, but he used to be a rotten old bastard. Treated me like an old shoe for 70 years. Losing his mind was the only good he ever did by me. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> now that's settled, tell me what you're really doing down here. Collecting noble stock. Valuable mushroom. We have a shop in Boulder's Gate. The locals go mad for it. Nice. What makes it so valuable? Nearly nothing it can't cure. Blindness, poison, hair loss. <laughs> hair loss. <laughs> yeah, cure. Can they cure Balin's loss of memory loss? Probably. But Balin in his right mind wasn't worth half a half of noble stock. I know him better than anyone. Got the scars to prove it. Mm, interesting. Uh, okay. I guess that's it then. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. Well, you gave me some gloves. Gloves of the uninhibited. Kushigo's might. The word deals an additional 1d4 damage with throw attacks and attacks made with improvised weapons. Ooh. I right. like them. Hello, Bone Cloak. Riverbank. Curious. Beautiful. But dangerous. Next time. More careful next time, for certain. Thank you for your help. You're welcome, Mr. Bone Cloak. Um, how did you get trapped to begin with? I. I think I. Uh, uh, anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> what do you say? You must be keen on mushrooms. You're willing to brave the Underdark for them. The shop. The shop needs all we find. Bone cloaks. Baldur's Gate. Anything right. from. Anything sourced here? Very high rate of profit. Oh, well, it's here. Seems like business is good. What is noble stock exactly? Mushroom. Powerful. Did it wants it for a brew. She's very good, my did it. Very good at a brew. <laughs> How did you wind up trapped like that? Noble stock. Yes. Did it needs noble stock. Mushroom. Good stuff. And the ledge. Yes. I was on a ledge. Crumbled to bits. And I tumbled down. Oh. Well, unfortunate. That's all the idiot. Getting lost like that. Oh, is that all? Mm, don't be too careful in these parts. Okay, yeah, I guess that's it for them. Hello. I greet you, child Milam. of the sun. How has your search for the mushrooms fared? It was rather eventful. Um... Uh, how do you survive? Don't you need brains? In the beginning, I had an arrangement with a lich. Oh. Excellent company. Lich. <laughs> despite what one would expect. Oh, well. I required brains. He required souls. A perfect symbiosis. But our ambitions eventually splintered. I wished to better the world. And he preferred its rot. Mm. So I left his company, and thus I now feed from those who act against the society's goals. Oh, uh, okay. Brain-eating Illuminati monster. <laughs> Best way to deal with that sort of hunger, I suppose. Perhaps the peoples of the Underdark will be less inclined to violence 
If they comprehend the cost, yes? <laughs> um, so I found the mushrooms you're looking for. These are fine specimens. It will only take me a moment to brew them to proper potency. Okay. Omeluum turns away to prepare the potion, lost in its own musings. You must drink the entire draught. Uh, I can make no promises as to its taste. Uh, what exactly is this going to do to me? It will lower the psionic defenses around the lava. If I cannot remove it, I may still be able to tell you more about its origin. Hmm, okay, sure. Sounds good, sounds good. Insight, damn you. All right, drink the potion. The potion is disgusting beyond description. Oh, I succeed in my constitution, though. The mercy is that it goes down quickly. Good. Not a drop left. Very good. Mm -hmm. As the potion influences my dad, your mind, when I was a kid, drinking antidote, you may find yourself titanol. acting irrationally. Try and stay focused. Oh, uh oh. The world loses its edges, its finer boundaries. You are magic fluid, mushrooms, but trapped like a creature suspended in amber. Uh oh. Uh, I can draw upon my willpower, or I can focus on the present, not the illusions. You know what? Let's draw upon my willpower and resist. And my bonus, yes, resistance, please. Nice, good. Dark holes bite at the edges of your vision. But the void cannot draw you in. The power of friendship. The of spasms seizes. It's fighting the potion even harder than you are. Oh. Fear pierces your mind like knives of ice. The parasite digs deeper. Uh -oh. As if it means to hollow out your skull. My brain. Uh. Drown. Hold on. This is all the same thing. Uh, yeah, wall off your mind from the psionic seizure. Add bone. I don't need to. I got this. Yeah, good. Barely. <laughs> nice. The cold blades lose their edge. You are stalwart, turning stalwart. that tide of fear against itself. Yes. The power the dark urge. With power. More power than you have ever felt before. Uh oh. It surges and twists, lashing out against that which would dare to intrude. Hey, Omila, I'm gonna. Okay, the oh, he is. in your mind quiets, pleased with itself. Oh, interesting. Omila, are you well? That lava is like nothing I have ever observed before. Sorry, I sneezed. Its power is unsettling. Hmm, interesting. Uh, I felt it grow inside of me. There's more power than ever. Such an outcome was not in my calculations. There is more to this being than mere stasis. Ah, oh, crap. You made it more powerful, really? So I went through all this and the tadpole is still lodged in my brain. Indeed. Although, I may have another solution. Albeit a temporary one. Oh. I possess... A ring of mind shielding. Oh. It prevents elder brains from noticing my presence. It will not remove the lava, but it will limit its influence. Oh, both positive and negative. Both positive and negative. Mm. I would offer it as a gift, but in truth, the ring is priceless. Is there anything you could offer me in turn? Oh. Why didn't you mention the ring before this potion debacle? <laughs> because removal seemed preferable to negation. Right. And I must admit, I was curious to study the tadpole myself. Okay. How about I tell you more about the nautiloid, every last detail? A fascinating topic indeed. What can you tell me? Ooh, intelligence. Yeah, intelligence. Offer a detailed logical analysis of the nautiloid. DC 15? Uh oh. Oh my god, okay. Uh, inspiration time, please. Oh, Jesus. Okay, okay. I have a lot of inspirations. Fine, roll again. Okay, good. Oof. 
two inspiration burned for one quest line. What a brilliant experience to feel one step closer to my ancestors is a fine gift indeed. Mm -hmm. Here, it is yours. Maybe I make a mistake taking that ring from him, May actually. it serve you as well as it has served me. A pretty thing. And at least it offers us some protection from the temple. Right. Of course, the lava remains. Be ever vigilant of its growth. Yeah, I mean, you helped it grow, so... It's not great. Okay. I've never seen anything. Ring of Mind Shielding. A saving throws against Charmed? That's it? Really? <laughs> That's not that good. What the heck? I mean, uh... Advent okay, sure. I feel like maybe it's a bad idea taking it from him, but I don't know. Anything else can talk I to me. Greet you, son, child. Uh how'd you escape your colony? I was born with a propensity for arcane magic my people despise. It gave me the strength to resist the elder brain. Mm. Every waking hour I pushed back against its dire hold. My wizardry empowered me. The nice. moment its control shattered. I fled before the colony discovered I had defected. Okay, cool. I think that's it then for all my friends here. Yeah, required ring of mind shielding. My protected square from the parasite's influence. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. <laughs> Didn't help us. It strengthened our parasite instead. Yeah, the mind flares potion. Mm. All right, let's prepare for another exploration outside. All right, found a top, ourselves on top of the world. Oh, uh oh. Surprised. Can't get. Oh, there's a lot of petrified row. Yep. A lot of unhappy drow people. I got um, a little frozen in fear as I got petrified. Hopefully, I'm not facing a basilisk or anything else that could petrify me. Hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Hmm. That's a uh, beholder. Wow. That's not good. That's like really bad. Uh, of course. Ouch. Oh, dorm. What the heck? Spectator's charm. Uh, that's not good. That's a spectator. Okay. Oh jeez. Darkness? Ugh. Okay, that's not good. That's a... Hmm. I just really not expecting a boss fight up here, huh? Dorn, the living initiate of the living library. Do I want to kill him though? I think that's the guy that I need though. But I really don't want the darkness in front of me. Man, darkness really sucks, huh? Shoot you though. Concentration is okay, fine. Unfortunate. Hmm. Let's see what the spectator does. Oh, he unpetrifies them. Oh, interesting. Wounding right. Ooh, okay, he paralyzed, get full. Okay, you know what? It's fine. Get full, can tank some hits for me. Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. Frenzy? Okay. Uh, Let's get in here now. What does this do? Lacerate? Get in here. Lacerate the spectator. Lead him. Uh, what else? I can try main hand attack, yeah. Okay, I'm doing big damage though. I'm okay with this. Let's see what Dorm does. Mage armor? Okay, fine. Heals himself? Fine. Uh, Shadow Heart. You're in a weird spot, eh? But you're gonna finally unleash your spirit guardians. The strongest thing I've ever seen. Uh, 3D radiant, yeah. Okay, got him closer. There you go. Spirit guardians now. Woads and Snare Strike are keeping still. There you go. He's ensnared now. There you go. I'm really happy with this outcome, actually. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, now there's me. Can I try and slow you? You're too far away. Okay. I might just. I have to sacrifice myself here, but keep going. Sure. Are you slowed? 
I hope so. Because I'm going to click my heels and run away. Yeah, run away. We Try and stay safe over here. Some torch stock there. Uh, okay, Glut, where are you? You're here. Uh, can I multi-attack you? No, I have, to, I have to make you prone, actually. Hey, Glut, come here. Pop. There we go. Big mushroom men. Let's see what his way does. Wrong thunder. Ouch. There's Asterion. Um, okay, Asterion's back. Yeah, let's try my psionic overload. Wait, is that... Yeah, psionic overload. Overloaded with synactic power. Oh, wait, that was my action? Oh, crap. That's not what I wanted. Oh, I don't have my movement. Oh, no. Hold on. Let's dash. Then. Let's see if I can go this way. Or whatever. Let's do offense slap. Oh, wow. That's a big crit. Huh. Okay, maybe it was worth it then. <laughs> okay, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Ow. Oh, that's my favorite coming out. Wounding Ray on Get Cole. It's fine. Yeah, Cole, he can tank it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, okay, so kill him. Kill the spectator. Die. Yes, spectator down. Ooh. Dust on my tongue. How are you, Mr. Drow? Okay, I'm playing as a staring apparently. I offer to parlay, and he brings a spectator. Twit. Quite ruined my ambush. Uh -huh. Now, you are? Uh, I'm more concerned with this twit who you set a spectator on you. Huh. A rival, a mere footnote to my legend. Okay. You should be more concerned with who I am. Mm. I am Dawn, third son of House Bartol, first rank evoker, and initiate of Graven Hollows. Oh. Oh no, no, my dear dark gods below, no! Uh huh. It's like your stone ran out of magic power. Damn, I'm playing as Hysterion, that's unfortunate. Uh. What are, what's that? A memory shard. They hold their glow for years. And it's fading. Mm -hmm. It contains knowledge that is precious to me. If it has grown this dark. Been trapped there for a long time. My enemies have already found the forge. Which bastard stole my glory? Zagrim? Philro? Philro is definitely dead. I'm not sure about Zagrim, though. Uh, Philro, mm, do you speak of the Adamant Adamantine Forge? It's still hidden as far as I know. Impossible. My rivals would have stopped at nothing. Okay, so it was a rivalry Unless. between those three. Huh. Ha! The fools must have turned back, or, better yet, died in the search. Good. Ooh, if they had I just surrendered it. their research to me, we might have found the forge together. But no, they hoarded their knowledge, left each of us clinging to scraps. Mm -hmm. I had the good sense to lock mine away in the shard. And now I can claim the forge alone. What knowledge does the crystal contain exactly? Old of you to ask. The others knew of the forge's defenses, its operation, but I know where to find it. Okay. The rest I can figure out with time. There was a now guardian that's with the Lord said. I am the only one searching. Or almost the only one. Are you going to try and kill me now, you really? You proved your power in freeing me. But I need no more rivals. Try to take this as a compliment. Yes? Oh. Yep. Yeah, of course. Of course, you piece of crap. I should have just killed you. <sighs> okay, fine. I maybe use my new magic missile powers. Get Dorn down. Torment. There you go. Alright. Asterion. Nope, I cannot. Screw it. Just shoot this guy. See ya, Dorn. You are an asshole. I didn't need you. There we go. That's good. Can I attack you or not? The heck? Bro, the spectator's corpse is blocking this body. Spectator. I really just can't hit him because the spectator corpse is blocking them. What the hell? It's unfair. This is actually unfair. Oh, man. Okay, however. This way. There you go. You're dead. Yeah, just let, let them move away. There you go. Deco is dead. That's fine. That's fine by me. Alright, Carlac. Get over here. Soldier. Slap. Slap again. Oh. Nope. Good, good, good. Survival is all that matters. Now go for the classic bone chill. Gotcha. 
you piece of crap, Drow. I should never have trusted you. Uh, Alright. Well, I got a spectator down, though. Oh, he had a spectator's eyes. Ray of Fear and Wounding Ray. Wow. By speaking with dead, I'm drawn. Oh, jeez, what the hell was that? The corpse regards you lifelessly. Mm -hmm. You were looking for a forge. What can you tell me about it? Adamantium. I want the location, bro. Location. Ah. Uh, where can I find the forge? Look inside. Memory shard, oh god. Memory shard. It's fading. What does this memory shard do? Choose way to adamantine forge. Okay, that's it. That's all it does? How do I use this memory shard? Title. Oh. Activate. Dorn Lord Archmage. Dorn okay. Lord Archmage. Okay. Where were you from? Menso right. Baranson. It's a big drow city. Okay. The spell's power waves. You can ask no more oh, questions. Oh, I figured out how to use the shard. Good, good, good. The only forge fan in oh, the jeez. Come on. I got blown up somehow. Okay, well, that was bad. Where's the memory shard? Here it is, this one? Yes, memory shard. Use. Crystal there shines only faintly. A memory shard, the wizard had called it. Seems pretty cool. Alright, uh, Arcana, gently probe the thoughts within. Yes. You just come on. Roll. Good. The crystal's glow swells, drawing you into its depths. You are transported somewhere deep, loud. Hot as the oh. hills themselves. I guess that's where the Grim Forge is. Within the Underdark's bowels, beyond an ancient stronghold, hovers a giant hammer. Ooh, nice hammer. Waiting to fall. Oh, my God. An echoing clang, and you're back to yourself. Left only with a firm sense of a place. A grand forge. Okay. So I know where it is. I could have just used the passphrase. <gasps> Whoops. Oh, I need another one. I need... Ah. Uh, can I come on you this? No? No. I think I need some of the other icy thing. Okay. So I'll have to find Zargrim, put an end to him, take his ice thing. Okay. What about you, Sovereign Glut? Can you actually turn this thing? Ah, can't. Target cannot, must be a monstrosity? You mean, I think it means humanoid, but okay, sure. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go take the boat, I think. We saved the Grim Forge gnomes, yes. And I think that's the same thing, right? Reach the Adamantine Forge. Should be good, for should be good. Okay. So we take the boat and we get there. Good. All right. Well, onto the boat we go. I got a new zombie friend and this drow person. Gave him the old axe. Let's see how it goes. I will not cross. Oh, what? Painful memories beyond. Ah. Uh, okay. There was a bit of a spanner in the works. All right, fine. Don't worry. All right, sure. Stay in the grotto then. I have to cross the lake. I will expect your return. Okay, sure. See ya. Glad. I'll come back. Let's do. A vessel wobbles on the lake's murky waters. Mm hmm. Sail into the darkness. Bum -bum. Good old pirate captain. Let's go. I see Glet walking in the back there. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I guess this is where Glut Circle died. That's why he doesn't want to come here. Oh, oh geez. We're being boarded. Oh no. Of course. Hmm. More to wear, Garha. Huh? You! What are you doing on Gex Raft? Oh. Uh. Well, he, he was a friend of mine. We fought together against a spectator. Where's Gek? Who are you? Ooh, I can do branded persuasion. I push the Duergar into the water. <laughs> uh, I get, uh, jeez. Yeah, sure, let's push the Duergar into the water. Screw it. I'm tired. Let's just, yeah. Okay, I can't, oh, okay. Yeah, sure, 15. Ah, should be fine. Yeah, 17. There we go. See ya. Asterion approved. Pop. 
<laughs> Look at me bear my fangs. All right. Oh, it's a fight. Okay, I've been like, right. Okay, fair enough. Did I kill him though? I may have killed them. Okay, cool. Let's get back a little bit. Are they gonna shoot me or are they gonna try to jump in? Okay, they're gonna shoot me. Ah, Jesus. Okay, you can jump across and actually. Yes, yeah, slice him down. Other crit, wow. Gotcha. Let's see what you have to say for me. And my blade. Slap you. There we go. Mind Mastery and Grace Skills, okay. Look at that, Jairus. Air Strike Asterion, okay, I'm going to scare me. Immune to fire damage, good to see it. I'm standing on fire. What the heck was that? Alchemist, uh, some smoke powder bomb. Okay, oh, okay. Oh, okay, set himself on fire. Ouch. That hurts. Oof, that actually hurts a lot. Ensnared. Um, can I hide? I can. Huh, that's nice. Get mine, Master Kettle. That's, that's pretty good. No trace. Okay. What's the plan? What's the plan? Go closer. That's the plan. Hey, never mind. Carlac. Uh, Bana. Yeah, let's see what happens. Ah, damn you. It's not good. Okay, this is the last part. Okay, you go. It's fine. Uh, get out of the fire, please. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, there you go. Reduce. He reduced himself. Wow. That's interesting. I've never seen that before. I have a lot of ensnaring strikes. Jeez. That's a lot of ensnaring strikes, huh? I can Acid Flask you. It's 2 to 12 damage. Yeah, sure. Let's Acid Flask you, see what happens. I go, you're dead. <laughs> okay, Carlock. Slice. And slice. Good. Uh. See if I can go over here and push you off, the Alchemist. You. The yeah, we. There we go. I killed. Oh, wow. I got an achievement for killing a creature of shoving. Huh. Nice. Oh, wow. That's not good. Okay. Alright. Carlac. Slice. Nice. GG. Okay. Good, good, good. Oh, that hurt me a little bit more than I thought. But, uh... Well, that's life, I guess. Oh, wow, they actually have good stuff. Huh, maybe I shouldn't have pushed them off. Maybe I should have, you know, looted their bodies. Alright, oh, I healed up pretty nicely. Time to click on this rudder is what this game wants me to do, I think. Craft is ready to sail. Oh, it's ready to sail? I thought we are already sailing. I can return to my cave shore or continue my journey across the lake. Okay, this journey is actually a lot longer than I originally thought, so maybe let me go to the cave shore, actually. Go back home. Mm, I didn't expect it to, you know, take the BS big of a journey as this. I thought it was just going to be another little area. So, uh, you know what? Let's finish off. Let's finish off with Spa's quest. Finish off this episode by helping Blood take over the circle, and then I'll be happy with myself. I think that's a good end point, because, uh, yeah. I was going to do the, you know, Grimforge thing, but then, man, it seemed like such a long journey, which I did not expect. But, uh, yeah, okay. Let's just, let's just go here. Sovereign Glut. Eliminate Spa. Yeah, let's do it. It's time to betray Spa. And, uh, have a good time doing it. Yep. Oof, let's do this. Alright. The time has come. It's time to execute Order 66. Although, Thula here, I'm kind of scared for her. But, uh, well, we'll see what happens. I got my hook horror and everything. Sovereign Glut. Me and my boys are ready. Let's do this. Get my barrel ready in place. Yep, like that. Okay. Breathing. Well, <sighs> the time has come. Let's do it. Path lies before me. Uh, what path lies before me? I wonder. Hello, Sarva Spa. Greets you with a harrowing elegy, cheerless as the new moon. Hmm. Okay. The Duergar are slain. The rot has been purged. The music shifts. Mm hmm. Still melancholic, but now streaked with hope. Do you hear? Uh oh. A new harmony. Serenity. I name you P. 
peace bringer. Uh, you're gonna regret that soon, my Fragrant friend. Fragrant spores waft through the air. Your heart swells with bliss with your every breath. Freely you have given to us. Freely you may take. Hmm. It's funny you say that. The guardian gate is open. Go and claim your reward. Oh, okay. So generous is for mighty sovereign. But when I sang my need, I received only yeah. silence. Gut here is not that happy. You give us nothing. We will take everything. Oof, angry glut. Peace bringer. What is this? Uh, you named me poorly, Spa. I bring you death. <laughs> oh no. Why am I so evil? Alright, let's do it. Uh, charlatan Warmonger. Apparently Asterion is inspired by that. Okay, I mean, if he says so. Time to push my luck again. Time to push my luck again, yep. Oh no. Oh wow, everyone's angry. X. Okay. Get back here. It's time for my big ol' fireball. Yeah, does anyone else want to get my fireball? Yeah, maybe down there, but maybe I can kill him fast enough that I don't need to worry about all that, hopefully. Fireball. Oh, jeez. Okay, that guy's dead. I think I blew up my Carlacker or something. Alright, Sovereign Spa's at 57 hit points. Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, let's do a Guiding Bolt into Sovereign Spa. Ayo. Nice guiding bolt. Trying to hide this way. It's kind of funny. Time for a new. <laughs> I shoot you. I can, you know, I shoot you with the fire of fire. I don't ever use these things, so I might as well. He's vulnerable to fire damage, so yeah, might as well. Ah, uh, kind of sad. I named this guy. He named me Peace Bringer. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see. Oh, Glut is also apparently really hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they can get up this way. Wow, I didn't even know that. Okay. What about this one? They're dashing. <laughs> oh, face spores. Oh! Wow, they buff each other. That's so cool, actually. Hmm. That's really cool. Okay. Okay, hopefully Glut can take them over and, you know, mind control all of these guys so that I don't have to kill all of them. Oh, yeah. Alright, you creepy mushroom people. Can I throw a flammable slime bomb? Yeah, I can actually. A pew. Uh, you're burning, so I think you're dead actually. Yeah, might as well go in for the kill, right? Slap him. Die, Spa. There we go. <laughs> kings I am. Let this place be sacred. Circle Glut takes root. GG, well played. Spawn will rise. Execute order 66. Sing of your might. You will be called Kingbringer. Oh, I like that actually, Kingbringer. Take my gift of song. Cry it low or loud. But cry it proud. Cry it proud. <laughs> So it is certain, and so you are known. Oh yeah, thank Spore's you. Spore's old song falters in the Myconids' minds, swallowed by a new rhythm. Oh. The song of glut. Interesting. You <laughs> They're all controlled now. You served well, Kingbringer. But our work is not done. Oh, really? You see Glut's old grotto once more, but this time wreathed in flame. Oh. Amid the slaughter strides a drow. I see, I see. Interesting. So. Near. This is the one who brought the Dwegar Blight. Bring me his head, so that I know my new circle is safe. Ah, uh, you won't join me? No? Well. Our to-do list is certainly filling out fast. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> All right, I assume there'll be another reward in this for me. You have my favor, King Rina. But yes, there will be riches as well. Good, good. That's what I need Go. to hear. Cross the lake and kill uh, the drow. Sounds like a great idea for the next episode. Yes. <laughs> All right, what a great time. Oh, look at all these, look at all these weapons. They're dancing and having fun. Wow, I'm such a happy guy. Or I'm such a good guy for killing all these people, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, all right, Sovereign Glut. Oh, yep, that's how it goes sometimes. All right, so this is the magic little thing where I could, where I was supposed to get my stuff here. No? But apparently it's all red. Defeat the Duergar intruders, I did, yes. There's a pale corpse as well here. Protect you. Oh, I can take the stuff from here, apparently. I can read this. The cover proudly announces this book to be Flump Mating Rituals. <laughs> Wizard Nature. Recall what I know of this title. Flumps are those jellyfish guys, right? Got bliss spore as well. Nice. Give me a buff. Hell yeah. Under Dark Fauna is a topic much written on, but this title has never appeared in any collection you've seen. Oh. The scrutiny proves too much. The lurid text melts oh, away it's a magic before book. your eyes. An illusion. Nice. What remains are simple instructions written in a spare hand. The secret to forging adamantine. Ooh. Nice. Cool. Copy from Master Tome describe the construction and use of a grand forge in the Underdark. I see. Among the Sharans dwell the gnome Silu Vialli, whose talents for wizardry were known from Candlekeep's Sorcerer. Under his tutelage, the Sharans built the Great Forge, which could heat Mithril in such vigor as to turn into adamantine. With this astonishing metal, they could mold the finest blades and armor. Yet the jewel of Yali's eyes was not the forge itself, but the protector he conjured from the magma to guard it. A construct he said to be so mighty that no blade could fell it and no spell could pierce it. Ingredients, raw Mithril ore and a proper mold. Place the ore and mold into the respect of chambers below the lever to ha lower the hammer and prepare the ore for smelting. Open the valve to open the lava. Okay, interesting. That God, seems useful. That seems... We ought to find the thing. Ooh, icy metal, yes. That's what I needed, right? Well, let me talk to this pale elf. I think you're the third wizard that... The third uh, drow wizard rival, right? I have to assume. The corpse regards you lifelessly. What was your business down here? Glory. We search right. for the adamantine forge. All three of those drow rivals <laughs> like didn't seem to fare well. What is this book I found next to you? Do you know where I already know where it is? Uh, what is this book that I found next to you? The secret to mastering the Adamantine Forge. Okay. Book disguised by magic. Yep. Nice also. Uh, who are you? Zargrim. Let's see. Yeah, Zargrim. Be good. Conjurer. Seeker. Nice. Uh, how'd you die? Battle with rival. Oh. Summon so he was the one who summoned the spectator. I see. And then he fr and then he petrified everybody. All uh, door, door what was the name Doran or whatever. All those friends. Yeah. Hmm. You know where to find the forge? Dorn yeah, Doran. Yeah, he's dead now. I know where it is. Cannot tell. Mm, cool. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Well, I got your icy metal though. So all three of the Drow seekers. Are now mine. Yes, I see metal. Let's do this. Let's combine that. Pop and pop. Combine. What does this do? Morning frost. So what does it do? Heart of ice. When dealing cold damage, the wielder deals additional one cold damage. Insidious cold. De dealing cold damage with a chill. Cost something fixed. Chilled upon the target. It also gives me ray of frost. <laughs> I mean, uh, that's pretty nice. It's not bad. Not bad at all. I have the new gloves for her as well, and I guess these gloves, the Winter's Clutches, the one I got from Glut, whenever it deals cold damage, it inflicts two turns of encrusted frost upon her. I mean, that's pretty cool. So that's a cool combo that I can whip out, right? I mean, it's interesting, if nothing else. 
I think that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed me uh, committing treason against Sovereign Spa, taking over the Republic and all that. Yeah, that's a good time. Glut seems like a cool dude. He called me the Kingbringer, which is a great name. I like it more than Beastbringer, so yeah. I thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed playing it, and I hope to see you all next time. But until then, goodbye for now. Yeah.